Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're going to talk about the brand new tank that just hit the shop, the LT432, which basically looks like a T54 flattened to give us the best pancake we ever had. Due to the lack of time, I can't show you the first 13 crates I opened to get the tank, but let's say that I was pretty unlucky. This is why I went for the 450 euros bundle as well, in order to get it guaranteed on my 25th one. And obviously, as Wargaming hates me, we're probably going to get it before, because now I just spent some money. So there we go. I'm sorry, we're not going to put the animation, because I'm really in a rush to make that video. So there we go. We are opening our crates. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it until the latest one which is obviously what i paid for isn't it wargaming so there we go and finally the last one boom we get the tank with a little bit of gold i spent 110 euros i'm obviously sure that it's not worth it but we're gonna give it a try so now that we have the tank if we compare it to the t54 lightweight let's say that it was slightly reduced just take a look at that how ridiculous it looks it's literally half the size of the big one we just saw now for the statistics, let's say that this tank for its gun is quite average, even if it still does the job in my opinion. 3.8 seconds of aim time, which is quite low considering that you're a light tank. 0.33 of gun dispersion because I'm using the equipment that is reducing the gun dispersion, otherwise it kind of sucks at sitting at 0.35. DPM 2.1k, reload time 7.8 seconds, 175 millimeters of penetration, 235 with your gold shell, and 50 with your high explosive. Average damage 280 which is a little bit less than the t54 lightweight if i'm not mistaken let me take a look uh yeah oh no we actually have the exact same gun as the one we have on the t54 lightweight but this one sacrifices a little bit of dpm in order to gain obviously some mobility because this is where this tank will shine boys just take a look at this 70 kilometers per hour you are as fast as an ru251 but you have one big cons, five degrees of gun depression. But is it really a cons considering that this tank is nearly already flattened to the ground? So five degrees of gun depression should allow you to do the job on flat terrains, obviously, but not necessarily on hills, etc. So maybe the best way to play that tank is actually not getting up some hill. I'm really happy about the replay you're seeing right there, guys. First of all, because it's my first game with the tank and it's an ace tanker, but most importantly, because it shows exactly what you're supposed to do with this tank as you can see 70 kilometers per hour is among the greatest mobilities you can you could ever think of when it comes to tier 8 light tanks and it's your main asset and how do you want to use it by simply spotting for your teammates but also playing at long range it seems weird for a light tank to say that you need to be at long range and i understand why what you want to do with this is obviously getting through the uh, different tanks of the opponents in order for you to spot them to make your team aware of where your enemies are and as soon as your job is done you come back to a safe position with the rest of your team simply because your gun doesn't allow you to be reliable on the battlefield especially in a frontal fight neither does your armor and finally you are a light tank you're not supposed to attack by yourself most of the targets because obviously if you do you are gonna get screwed so there we go we are we already spotted quite a lot of targets and now all we want to do is going away we want to go back we want to escape because we know that the wz uh wz the two wz's are probably gonna come for me and here I have the right deduction because they are coming. So there we go. I'm trying to help my VK-168 on this side of the map. And I'm thinking, okay, I have the WZ behind me and I have the Ice 5 right there. If I try to move forward and go with the rest of my team, I'm probably going to get pushed by the guy. So instead, what I want to do is obviously getting to another place. So there we go. We sneaked a shot on the VK-168 as well. And now we are moving from our position. We also have to deal with the two WZs that you see right there. And unfortunately, they are going to be harassing me quite a lot not a problem because we still have the mobility to be able to circle them so there we go i'm trying a uh, gold shell on the wz here but it didn't work and i see that i'm taking a shot from the side and i'm thinking wait 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 what is this it's probably the type 62 with adrenaline so what i want to do is moving from his view range from his sight range so there we go we are actually circling the wz because as you have the best mobility out of all the mediums the light tanks at tier 
8, you can obviously circle one of the greatest tanks when it comes to the mobility as a tank destroyer, aka the WZ. It worked perfectly, and now we only have to deal with the VK. And here you see the huge problem with this tank. As soon as you just hit a little bit any tank in the game, just take a look at that. I just smacked that VK and got wrecked for 300 hit points. And now we are in a tough situation because I'm a tier 8 against two tier 8 and one tier 7 and I'm playing with only one tier 7. So what I'm gonna do, as I told you, and this is where the meaning of my sentence play third line comes in, you are taking a lot of distance from your opponents when you are in a tough situation. Because as you are extremely small, your camo rating is probably your best lie. And to deal with it, what you want to do is obviously not being the one spotting. So there we go, we sneak the shot on our friend and now there is a type to deal with. There we go, 280 millimeters of... Uh, 280 mm, not millimeters, alpha damage doing their job and now it's us against the Pantera. And this is where you're gonna see what the light 432 is crazy at. We are a one shot against a fully hit pointed P44 Pantera. What we wanna do? We want to obviously take a lot of distance because it's a medium, it has a good mobility, but something it doesn't have that I have and that is going to be my main set in this fight is of course the fact that it doesn't have the best view range so there we go i'm sneaking my shot on the pantera right there and now i'm hiding and i need to kill that guy one piece by one piece i need to hit it like i hit one and i run away it's a hit and run game if i want to win so there we go i'm taking my distances i'm making sure that i'm staying behind the rock as i'm moving away in order not to get shot by that guy and now all i have to do is running away so there we go, this is exactly what we're doing, and now I'm gonna try to attack the P44 Pantera from the other side of the map, from the opposite side from which I attacked first, simply because I'm expecting that guy to try to go on my latest position. And here it worked. He goes to my latest position, I sneak in another shot and boom, I run as soon as possible and I'm gonna try to make him believe that I'm going on the side where I'm not going. And this is why I'm turning straight away on my right in order to make him believe that I'm trying to go on the right side where, where in fact I'm gonna go again on my first original position from which I'll probably be able to sneak a shot on that guy from the back as he will probably move further on the right side of the map. This is called brain and this is exactly the kind of things the light 432 does perfectly. So there we go, I'm going again on my little hill because here I know that I can take some risks. So I'm trying to spot the guy, but unfortunately I don't see him. But here you're gonna see something or maybe you're not gonna see it and this is why I'm gonna highlight it like that. Just take a look at this, I saw that those items broke, which implies that the guy's probably here. I sneaked or tried to sneak a blind shot, but it didn't work, not a problem. As the P45 Pantera is trying to go around, I'm sneaking a shot as soon as I can spot him and going away to a safe position. I'm not trying to peek again because obviously the P44 Pantera is waiting for me to do that and I don't have the armor even in the turret to be able to bounce the shot. So instead, I'm trying to make him believe once again that I'm going on the right, where in fact I'm going to the exact same position. And here I'm trying to spot the guy, but he's not here. Not a problem, I'm trying to push forward and now I have the master information. I I know that he's capturing the base and it's gonna help us quite a lot because we simply have to turn around to try to spot him from the distance in order for us to sneak the shot while remaining unspotted or at least while remaining covered so there we go i'm trying to sneak a shot the guy is trying to sneak one as well he didn't manage to do it he was expecting me to come from the right side as i told you we bring him the second time and now all we have to do is waiting for him so what i'm gonna do the third time i'm gonna try to bring the guy by making him believe that i'm going on the right where in fact i'm coming back I kill it, boom, three kills, 3.9k damage, and obviously with it comes the juicy ace tanker that we truly deserve on this one. So in the end, if you're looking for something that can brawl and do a lot of damage and be effective in pretty much every single situation, the LT432 is not made for you. It's definitely a tank that is acquired by good players only, because otherwise you will probably have shitty games with it. And um, yeah, that's it. This tank is awesome. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that review. And let me know in the comments if you are or not going to buy it. Because truly, in crates right now, it's not worth it. See ya.